Second Kings chapter 20. In those days, Hizkiyahu was sick unto death, and Yeshayahu the prophet, son of Amos, went to him and said to him, Thus said Yah, Command your house, for you are going to die and not live. And he turned his face toward the wall and prayed to Yah, saying, I pray to you, O Yah, remember how I have walked before you in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done what was good in your eyes. And Hizkiyahu wept bitterly. And it came to be before Yeshayahu had gone out into the middle court, that the word of Yah came to him, saying, Return and say to Hizkiyahu, the leader of my people, Thus said Yah, the Elohim of Dawid, your father, I have heard your prayer, I have seen your tears. See, I am going to heal you. On the third day, go up to the house of Yah, and I shall add to your days fifteen years, and deliver you in this city from the hand of the servant of Asher, and shall defend this city for my own sake, and for the sake of Dawid, my servant. And Yeshayahu said, Take a cake of figs. And they took and laid it on the boil, and he recovered. And Hizkiyahu said to Yeshayahu, What is the sign that Yah does heal me, that I shall go up to the house of Yah on the third day? And Yeshayahu said, This is the sign for you from Yah, that Yah does the word which he has spoken. Shall the shadow go forward 10 degrees or go backward 10 degrees? And his Giyahu said, It will be easy for the shadow to go down 10 degrees. No, but let the shadow go backward 10 degrees. And Yeshayahu the prophet cried out to Yah, and he brought the shadow 10 degrees backward by which it had gone down on the sundial of Ahaz. At that time, Berodach Baladan, son of Baladan, sovereign of Babel, sent letters in the present to Hizkiyahu, for he heard that Hizkiyahu had been sick. And Hizkiyahu listened to them and showed them all his treasure house, the silver and the gold and the spices and the precious ointment and all his armory and all that was found among his treasures. There was not an object in his house or in all his rule that Hizkiyahu did not show them. And Yeshayahu the prophet came to sovereign Hizkiyahu and said to him, What did these men say? And from where did they come to you? And Hizkiyahu said, They came from a distant land, from Babel. And he said, What have they seen in your house? And Hizkiyahu answered, They saw all that is in my house. There is not an object among my treasures that I did not show them. And Yeshayahu said to Hizkiyahu the words of Yah, See, the days are coming when all that is in your house and what your fathers have treasured up until this day shall be brought to Babel. No object is to be left, said Yah. And they are going to take away some of your sons who are to be born to you, whom you bring forth. And they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the sovereign of Babel. And Hizkiyahu said to Yeshayahu, The word of Yah which you have spoken is good. And he said, is it not so if peace and truth are to be in my days? And the rest of the acts of Hizkiyahu and all his might and how he made a pool in the channel and brought water into the city, are they not written in the book of the annals of the sovereigns of Yehuda? So Hizkiyahu slept with his fathers and Manasseh his son reigned in his place.